friends, welcome back to Coffee Talk. I am Coach Roxanne, and today Coach Chuck is joining us. He joins us every Friday, and we always have fun, interesting things to chat about, and sometimes things that weren't even on the plan. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my friends. Oh boy, turn that off. Happy Friday! We made it! Another week! How exciting! Good morning! Once you're on, drop it in the comments, my friends. Uh, the sun is shining. Hallelujah! Vitamin D, baby! Michelle, good morning! Nikki, it's Friday! I'm, I'm feeling it. Holly, good morning! Happy Friday! Megan, good morning! Welcome to the party! <laughs> Victoria! Hi again. Victoria, what are all your dogs' names? Anybody else out there, dogs, cats, what are their names? How many animals do you have? What do you have? I would love, I would love to know. Marsha, good morning. Amy, good morning. Lisa, good morning. Charmaine, good morning. Carrie, good morning. Happy, beautiful Friday, my friends. Make sure I got everybody here. It's looking, looking like I do. Kim, good morning. Julia, happy Friday. Ruth, good morning. Yesterday afternoon, I finally felt good. I didn't feel like I had the seashell stuck to my ear. This morning I woke up and it feels like it again. But I, I have faith now that, I, that it's definitely the tail end since yesterday was amazing. So yay, high fives, high fives. Corey, good morning, co coach and all. Dee Dee, good morning. Wish we had sun, 34 and light snow, or I like to call chunky rain. Where are you, Dee Dee? Why don't, I, I should know this. Where are you? Nikki, two dogs, three cats. Dogs are Axel and Ivor. I like that, Ivor. Cats are, hold, hold, hold on. The cats are Chico, Lena, and Creature. <laughs> I love it. Deanna, buenos dias. Victoria, mushy moo, Marlo moo, Finley, and Jupiter, or Jupy, Dupy. And don't forget Kitty Kitty. <laughs> I love it. Amy, good morning. Michelle, TGIF. Dee Dee, I live in Marquette. A youper. Okay. We have to remember that, Coach Chuck. Dee Dee is a youper. Ashley, good morning. Carrie has Roxy and Millie girl in, oh, Roxy and Millie girl in heaven. Aww. Aww. Uh, Ruth, horses, ducks, chickens, dogs, cats, and goats. Someday. Someday I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to say all of that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Chuck's aware of that, but someday I'm gonna be able to say all those things. Mary Ellen, good morning, my friend. Long time no see. Kimberly Dog, and her name is Luca. I love it. Good morning, good morning. Goats are monster truck, cool whip, and Deadpool. <laughs> wow. I love that. I That's love it. I love it. Good. Uh, all right, I've got my coffee, I've got my milk foam. Amy, Black Lab, Rocky. I, lo I love this, I love it. We have Skylar, Stella, Squint, and Sophie. Skylar, Stella, Squint, and Sophie. Victoria, forgot Margie, my horse. Oh my, wow, you guys have like farms out there. You guys have farms. Deterville, good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, so what do we have going on this weekend? We have Mother's Day. So we're gonna talk a little bit how, you know, we've done this every holiday. We've talked about how to maneuver the holidays and it's just too good of a message to pass up again. So some of this might be refresher for you. Some of this might be brand new to you. I can't believe you have my Hola! hair. Hola! <laughs> I thought it was fitting. She doesn't want to, her hair is so beautiful. Dog so. mom. I gotta show off. I ain't scared. I gotta, I ain't scared. I gotta show off my uh, my ear. You can't. I really like this see hat. It. All right. What else do we got here? We got. What else do we got? Oh, speaking of. Uh, Rachel said, "Dog Rose." Oh, Ashley, all oh. about the S's. <laughs> I am in no, 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 no. That's Sophie. Dina, two birds. Pierre is a cockatiel and going to be twenty-five years old. That is super wow. cool. And then a parakeet. That's interesting trivia. I didn't even know animals live that long. Uh, yes. How long do cockatiels can they live? Two cats, Princess Buttercup and Mittens, who is a polydactyl. I was going to say a pterodactyl. Princess Buttercup. <laughs> my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. <laughs> Prepare to die. All right, Karen, let's get after it. Karen, two rescues, Diesel and Indy, and Chuck, the best cat. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Now, for everybody that's been through that five minutes of welcoming, <laughs> we're just going to, this is all about dogs today. We're just going to talk about dogs. All right. No, the title of today's video is Keep Your Goals in Sight. Callie 
Cats, Zeus, and Iris. I oh, love it. Callie the rescue dog. All right. All right. Woo. All right. Are you gonna Are you gonna lead um, off here? Um. All right. Yeah. So guys, we were talking about like what did we want to talk about today, and I thought you know what, um, that's it, Shelly. That's inconceivable. <laughs> Can you can you keep I can't your mind on, no. on one thing? All right, <laughs> it's the holidays. All right, so here's the thing. So for five years, I think for about five years, when I was going through college and a little bit after, I worked at Perkins and I started out as a line cook at Perkins. Um, became a, an assistant kitchen manager, worked front of the house or whatever. That was like my college job. That's how I helped pay get through school. And I will tell you, on Mother's Day weekend. So Perkins, if you've ever been, been to a Perkins or whatnot, like it's a family restaurant, but breakfast is a big deal, right? We would be staffed to the gills, like maximum staff. It was our number one sales day of the entire year. Mother's Day weekend, followed by Valentine's, followed by Thanksgiving. And we would just get crushed. So most people are doing something of some kind outside of their house. Maybe not with COVID now, maybe, maybe not. But like, this is a big weekend, right? Because moms don't want to cook and kids are going to do something special. So here's the deal. Like we understand like the kids are going to want to do something special. And maybe this is not for everybody. And I, and I don't want to be Debbie Downer. But if this is the case, this is the possibility here, right? So how do you keep your goals in front of you this weekend? Um, this is exactly on the coattails of every single talk that we've had this week, right? Is we need to learn how to enjoy ourselves not be in excess, right? Don't go crazy, don't go bonkers, and not have this weird, crazy justification of, I've been really good all week, and now I'm gonna be naughty. Today's my I day to be I naughty. I deserve this. I des I'm just, I'm gonna have a whole cheat day. Don't do that. Don't go, don't start Slippery your- Slippery slope, it, my it friends. It really is, it really is. And it will be really hard to recover even by the end of the week if you go totally bonkers for a whole day. Yeah, I'm, again, number one, we're totally against the word cheat anything. Cheat meal, if, if we're just gonna use the context of that, right? Call it whatever, a free meal, we call it a free meal. Free meal, right, or a little bit of snacking, but an entire day can absolutely wreak havoc. Now, again, are you gonna gain a pound of fat in a day? No, probably not. But if you're any version of any person that does look at the scale, one day of going off the plan will probably push the scale up three, four, possibly five pounds. And if you get on the scale after that, a lot of the water weight and whatnot, water retention, the, the it's going to mess you up. The inflammation that yeah. is going inflammation to be from in the your sugar, joints. Alcohol. I mean, it's going to, you are going to feel that for probably a good week. Yeah. So, I mean, this is stuff we've talked about on vacation strategies, Christmas strategies, Thanksgiving strategies, um, things you can use when you go to visit friends in different social settings. Um, here's a couple things. Number one, like know what's going to be served, right? Like if you're going out to dinner, if someone's taking you somewhere, know what's going to be served. Try to know what's on the menu. Um, try to figure out what you're going to eat before you get there. Now, this isn't a conversation of don't necessarily uh, don't to, to, the deprivation conversation we had the other day, right? This isn't about deprivation, but Coach Roxanne, like when we go to her mom and dad's um, or my parents' house to celebrate, she just has tiny little portions. I want I want to taste everything. I yeah. want everything, so I do. I take a little bit of everything, and the reason I do that is because I think we also fill up faster yeah. than expected because we're eating foods that we're not used to. Yeah. So one, I mean, number one rule that I advocate for is. One plate and one plate only. No seconds, no thirds, not at all. Have one plate, make it how you want, and commit to having one plate and one plate only. Okay, then when it comes to like desserts and snacking, it's a slippery slope, guys. I, I still, I again do the same thing. If there's more than one option, I will take little pieces. If there's one option, I'll take I'll take a moderate piece. I'm not gonna, I used to take like, give me the biggest piece of cake you've got. I don't do that anymore. Number one, I don't feel good after. Yeah. And the next two to three days, I don't feel good. So I wanna be aware of that in the moment. I'm all about it. I want it all. Yeah. And you know what? Like I, I don't want to sound like a harping, like right. fitness Nazi, cause that's how I was like 10, 15 years ago. Um, and again, like there's so many fit people, pros out there that's like, you need to eat chicken and broccoli on the day. No. Okay. So like we're saying, yes, go ahead and enjoy yourself. Ideally, ideally save it for one meal, have fun. Like you would just like, we've told you to like enjoy a pizza or whatever, have that meal, have fun. If it becomes an entire 
whole day affair. You just need to mentally be, and, and, and maybe it will, and maybe it will. We're not saying necessarily don't. However, if it does, you need to understand the impact and this isn't to beat yourself up, guilt it's be conversation. It's understand the impact and be okay with it. Right. It's just one of those things that you're like, if you're monitoring, if, if, if the scale, if the scale is a way that you are monitoring results, I'm just going to tell you right now for sure, 72 out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, scale is going to be up for sure. Even if you're monitoring inches, you're going to probably be holding a lot of water weight. You're going to be very much inflamed if you consume sugar, if you consume alcohol, or if you consume simple carbohydrates in excess. It's just uh, physiologically, your body will shift because of what you decide to consume. Again, there's not, this is not a guilt. This is not a shame. We're just trying to offer you perspective and strategies as to how you can have an, a successful weekend or day, Sunday, right? And, and then come back into it during the week without feeling, without feeling guilt, without feeling shame and keeping the momentum rolling. Yeah, so so what if, you know, the kids show up in your bedroom on Sunday morning and they've got the platter, it's got pancakes and there might be a cinnamon roll and bacon and it's got all the good stuff. Eat this uh, eat your protein first, eat your bacon, eat whatever it is if there's some scrambled eggs, have a couple bites of your pancake, have the cinnamon roll. Now, if this is the only thing you're going to do that day, Go ahead and enjoy it. But if you have Mother's Day lunch somewhere and you have Mother's Day dinner somewhere, maybe you have a couple bites of those fun things because you want to have bites of the th fun things at the other places too. So another thing that I would advocate for guys, two things actually is, number one, consume as much water as possible. Again, I don't want to sound like a fitness Nazi by any means. I'm just saying like legitimately, like it's going to keep you feeling full. You, you want to stay hydrated, right? It's going to curb your hunger big time hydration, and then on top of hydration, protein. So water and protein and fiber are, guys, excuse me, are the three main things that are gonna keep you feeling full. It's gonna cut your hunger, it's gonna cut down your cravings, okay? And it's gonna keep that energy up. When you start introducing simple sugars, guess what's gonna happen in alcohol? Your hunger levels are gonna skyrocket, your energy is gonna tank, and your cravings are gonna go through the roof. And they're so, gonna be through the roof yeah. probably until mid next week. Well, yeah, right. The You're next couple of days. Right, right, right. So again, if you have these things, now if you have them earlier in the day, the entire day is going to be a little bit of a struggle. If you have them later in the day, probably a better strategy. Honestly, push off your free meals as far off into the day as you possibly can. That's my advice. The people that came to Perkins for early morning breakfast that had pancakes with maple syrup, my guess is all, they felt full when they left. And all day long, all they could think about is I want a donut, I want a cookie, I want wine, I want sweet, sweet, sweet. Give me, give me all the mimosas. Because you're, you're, you're physiologically, you just hit a hormone cascade. You, you just, and especially if you haven't been doing those things, it's just gonna blow up in regards to those hormones are going to go absolutely crazy. So again, you don't want your hunger to go up, you want it to go down. You want your energy up, you don't want it to tank. And you, when cravings start kicking in, it's a vicious cycle. So again, and that's the thing, you wanna get back on, the, whatever Sunday brings for you, or if it's Saturday, you wanna get back on the horse as fast as possible. And as Coach just mentioned, if you're gonna to have to be completely at those first 24 hours, you're, you're gonna feel probably a little bit tired, your joints are probably gonna hurt, you might not sleep awesome, and that, that next day, you're probably, the number one thing in your mind is, I want to cheat my di my diet. I'm going to want to have all the things. And you're probably going to want to sleep in. You're not yeah. going to want to get up at 5 a.m. to do your 5.30 workout. Get right back on the plan. If your big meal is going to be at lunch on Sunday, make sure you have a good plan for supper. Like you just yeah. have to make Start sure Start the you're... day with a smoothie the next yep. day. Yep, yep, ready yep. to roll. If you're, if you're doing a Mother's Day deal on Mother's Day on Sunday, Monday start with a smoothie. My friends, start with greens. Start working it out. Make sure you go for a walk, hydrate, etc. That's incredibly, incredibly empowering and important to know. Get some kind of movement in. Get those greens going the next day. So these are just things we're trying to set you up for success so you understand the implications of what's going to happen. So Ruth said, definitely pay attention to how you feel after and learn. My body gets angry now and it isn't worth it to me anymore. Although I still think maybe it will be fine. We have all we all do that. We all do that. We think if we ju just this one time and it'll be okay. But crazy how sugars and alcohols react in our bodies. Whoops. Hold. Hold, hold. And then Michelle said something about alcohol, which was really good. Uh, I'm committed to making myself uh, something to eat and eating it. Usually for get-togethers, I would drink and not eat at all. No drinks planned 
plan to make a plate and eat it. I love that. Uh, Victoria, you're both on my radar. I meal prepped last night for my weekend of camping. I love that. So again, guys, now again, drink as much water as you can. Um, if there are vegetables available, I, I get it. Like even if, even if you're having the vegetables with dip, fine, whatever, like load up on veggies. Why? Because they're full of fiber, right? Water, fiber, protein. And so the protein conversation that I started two minutes ago was whatever you put on your plate, try to make sure there's at least some version of protein on your plate. And the next tip I have for you is start with the protein. So an example from the holiday, on Thanksgiving when I take turkey or like we have ham or whatever, I make sure that's on my plate. And if I have like mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese or whatever, I start with my protein and I try to eat as much of it or all of it first because that is gonna fill me up. It's gonna, I'm gonna feel satiated. And the other tip I have for you too is eat slowly, oh, yes. like, 15 to 20 bites, set your fork down, chew your food, literally chew your food, have, I know it's not great to talk with your mouth full, but have, have conversation, yes. set your fork down. If you inhale your food like you haven't eaten in three days, your brain, your stomach doesn't send signals to your brain fast enough for your brain to tell you to stop. And then what happens is, 15 minutes later, you feel like you're gonna absolutely be sick and your stomach is out way past you know, your shoes, and you're like, oh my goodness, I feel so full. You ate so fast that the signals take time. So literally like commit, like I am going to take the next 15 minutes or 20 minutes and I'm gonna have my, my whatever and I'm just gonna slowly and I'm gonna talk to Jerry and Joan and you know, John Jett and you know, Elton Joan and whoever <laughs> and just talk to them about like, you know, life and stuff, right? Uh, <laughs> That's where you'd start the part. I think they get it. I think they get it. Yeah, yeah. I, we're just I, trying to give tips. If there was one other thing I would say, could you get the family to go out for a bike ride? Could Ooh, you get yeah. the family Walks. to go out for a walk? Just a little something so you're not yeah. sitting around all day, yeah. not moving your body. Maybe even before breakfast or right after, can you just get everybody out to go go do a little something? Maybe even go to the park and yep. play. You know, honestly, going out and going, talking with them, going out to eat, in my opinion, for Mother's Day or any holiday, is the better win, and I'll tell you why. If it's a buffet, because we, like, we've gone to like Easter buffets and stuff like that, where it's like 1995, and then you're like, I'm gonna eat everything, oh, <laughs> give me that, right? So, but even on a buffet, I always, I always wanna have two to three plates, but I stick to one, even though I, so I'm like, I paid 20 bucks for a breakfast, whatever, right? But if you're going out to lunch or dinner, you are only ordering a plate, ideally, so you don't necessarily, if you have an appetizer, make sure you split it amongst the table, Order something you want, but don't go bonkers. And if you have dessert, split the dessert. Why not share a Mother's Day dessert? We don't necessarily need to eat 2,000, 3,000 calories in one meal. I really do believe that if you go out to eat, it is a, an advantage because if you have company over and it's an all day event, the food it's just all day, all day, yeah. all day, all day, yeah. all day, all day, all day. So that's where like going for walks or playing volleyball or tennis or doing kicking the ball, throwing the ball, whatever, playing bean bags with your water, right? And if you're drinking alcohol, try to have a glass of water for every alcoholic drink you have, follow it with a glass of water and go back and forth like that. Yes. So these are our tips we share for like every holiday weekend. Yeah, I don't know that there's much more no. that we could tell you. Uh, Dina said, LOL, when my bestie and I get together to inhale our, inhale our food down. <laughs> Right. And that's so very have a, Dina, have a contest with your bestie. <laughs> Who can finish your plate the slowest? The slowest. Oh, maybe we should try that. Who can take the most bites? Who can chew their food the most before swallowing? I think I'm Chuck, on 45. Chuck usually has his food inhaled and I still have half of mine left. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at this. I, we were, what are we watching the other night? I don't know what we were watching. And I was like, done. <laughs> and then, and then, you know what I was? I was like, Oh man, I oh. wish, I wish, uh, I wish I had more. And then I went back and got more, which I totally violated my own rule. And, and then, then guess what happened? Right. Oh, my stomach's out past my shoes. <laughs> it was not a good situation. It actually was last night for taco salads. Oh, all right, my we're friends. That's where we're going to leave you. Have an amazing weekend. Enjoy yourself. Victoria is the bestie. Uh, uh, from Dina. Uh, <laughs> just keep your goals in mind. Enjoy your weekend. Keep your goals in mind. Try not to go crazy overboard. We wish you all a happy Mother's Day. Those of you who aren't mothers, go out and enjoy yourself. This weekend is really about celebrating women in general. So whoever 
wherever you are and join us tomorrow morning for yo mama yo mama workout. yo mama workout we got tomato hot mama we got e mama we got mama said knock you out i thought and we had yo mama Did no you well, yo that? mama's the title and then <laughs> mama said knock you out which is a new a new boxing move we got and then we got um uh, i bet your mama will i bet your mama will Carrie, Carrie, uh, happy Mother's Day, Lori. I'm going to suggest in our Mom's Day shenanigans. Whoever loses it does jumping jacks. Oh, I like that. All right, my friends. Thank you, Shelly. Uh, we're signing off. Have a fantastic weekend. Happy Mother's Day to you all. All right, see you later, guys. Bye-bye.